do you know you can use OneDrive as a backup? If you are using OneDrive, you know there is a OneDrive folder in Windows PC. Now by default that OneDrive folder will not have anything. You have to have the discipline of creating files and say save as OneDrive. Those files will go there. But on day one when you started using OneDrive for the first time, most of your files were on local drive, right? Now how do you put them on OneDrive? That's a very common mistake people do. They take a folder from local drive and copy it to OneDrive. You should never do that. Why? Because now you have two copies of that folder. One is the local copy. Then there is a OneDrive local copy. And then there is a cloud copy. Those cloud and OneDrive, they will sync with each other. But the local copy is an extra copy. It's occupying double space. And it's also going to confuse you. So remember one very simple thing. When you want to put anything in OneDrive, you should move it whether it's a file or a folder. Alright, but then many of us have lots of files on desktop. <laughs> it's the worst place to store files, but somehow everyone likes desktop. I don't know why, but that's the reality. Then we have some pictures and good old my documents, which is called documents now. Now these three folders do not get synced by OneDrive by default. How do you get that done? And that would become your backup. So go to the notification area. What is notification area? On the taskbar on the rightmost side, we have those icons where you see date time. Open that and see OneDrive icon. Right click on that, go to settings. In that setting, you will see backup. Say manage backup. And now it will say, okay, you seem to have desktop files, uh, my documents or documents and pictures. You say, okay, then it will calculate how much space it is and tell you, do you want to backup these? Then let it do it. Now remember, this is potentially large amount of data it's going to take time but don't worry you don't have to keep thinking whether what happens with internet goes it is very smart even if you interrupt it you switch off the pc it remembers and it'll do a job correctly it may take time depending on the volume but it is very resilient now once it is done life is good what is the important thing now cloud is the backup what does that mean suppose your laptop falls hard disk fails someone steals it no doubt to worry. Get a new laptop or hard disk, log in using OneDrive, all the files will come back. That's why OneDrive has a backup. Now there are two other aspects you need to know. Whatever files are on local drive, they are getting synced on OneDrive. So any change you make here is going to reflect on the cloud. What that means, if you delete a file here, yes, it will go to recycle bin locally. It will also get deleted from OneDrive. OneDrive also has a recycle bin. It is stored for 93 days and more. In fact, I have a detailed video on OneDrive best practices. Have a look at that later. But for now, it do not delete file from local drive thinking I'm going to save space on the local drive. That's deleting the file from OneDrive as well. Now that brings us to a question. OneDrive has a lot of space. My hard disk locally is small. How do I keep everything on the cloud and only the required stuff on the local drive? Very good. That's called files on demand. So let's say we have already sync documents to OneDrive. Now those documents which have been with me for decades maybe, I realized that those things which were three years old, I'm never going to use them in day-to-day -day work. So right click on those folders and say free up space. Now it will literally delete the files locally. When you check later, you will see oh zero bytes locally, but cloud, everything is there. So that's how you optimize local space and keep everything as cloud. And that's how OneDrive becomes your automatic backup and restore. And in case you get a ransomware attack, don't worry, go to OneDrive. There is a restore option also. I have a video. Have a look at that as well. So that's it for now. Thank you.